Hello everybody, we will talk about facial nerve injury in this video and we will summarize the symptoms that appear according to the site of the injury. The first site to be injured is proximal to the geniculate ganglion, which is supplied by the greater superficial petrosal artery and the symptoms that will appear is the loss of the cremation, hyperacusis, loss of salivation, taste loss from the anterior to third of the tongue and facial expression muscles palsy. The second side to be injured is between the geniculate ganglion and the second genome near the pyramid and the symptoms that appear according to this injury is the hyperacusis, loss of salivation, taste loss from the anterior to third of the tongue and the facial expression muscles palsy. The lacrimation will be preserved. The third side to be injured is distal to the second genome but proximal to the origin of the corda tympani. There will be loss of the taste in the anterior two thirds of the tongue and facial expression muscles palsy. The fourth side to be injured is after the region of corda tympani and could be at the level of the styloid mastoid foramen or after that. And for of course, muscles of facial expression will be paralyzed. So we can summarize the functions of the facial nerve, tears, noise, dry mouth, taste, and facial expression muscles palsy. Thank you.